Hello and welcome to Autobot YouTube channel. Myself Rahul Nikshan. Today we are going to learn about a new activity that is introduced in uh, UiPath Studio 2022.at version. Okay. So the activity name is when new item added to queue. Okay. So let me hover on top of it. So what is that? It starts a job when a new item is added to specified queue. Okay. And it is included in UiPath.System.Activities. So as we all know, there are two types of triggers that is available in UiPath Orchestrator, right? So what is queue based and what is type based trigger? So here, if we are including this particular activity in a workflow, it means you are trying to create a queue based trigger. Okay. So uh, whenever a new item is getting added to that particular queue, then your automation process will get executed from the orchestrator. Okay. So that is the purpose. So let me show you how it is going to work. And before do that, let me try to publish a, a normal project to orchestrator and show you what is the primary difference. And, uh, I'm just giving a right line activity and I'm going to print it like a demo. And uh, let me publish this to orchestrator. Uh, package name as a add a queue item. Okay, fine. Next, publish. Go to our cloud. Go to tenant packages. Okay, here we can see the package got uh, published to the orchestrator, right? A few seconds ago. So let me go to order board. That is my folder. So here one thing that you need to keep in mind is uh, our studio should have connected to uh, the uh, correct folder okay to which that we are going to create the queue. And I already opened the documentation as well. So as per this documentation the project compatibility is suggesting is cross platform but here I have opened uh, uh, Windows uh, project because uh, when I check for Windows as well as for cross platform, I have observed the similar kind of, uh, uh, of features. So, if there is any uh, difference uh, and if someone has observed that, please do come in the comment section. Okay, and starts a job when a new item is added to the specific queue. When publishing a process containing this activity, the orchestrator location set in the studio status bar must match the location of the selected queue. Okay, so this is what I mentioned just now. So, uh, to which folder that you are going to create the queue, to that queue you, you have to, to that folder you have to link the studio as well. Okay. And uh, what are the things that we need to provide? We need to provide queue new as well as the translation item uh, variable. So here we can see we publish uh, uh, the package. Uh, then what we have to do, we need to create the process, right? So for that, let me go to automation. Click on add process and uh, we need to select the package. Add keyword. Add keyword. Okay, so this is our package. Entry point is main dot XML. Next. And this is a normal process of creating a process, right, in uh, orchestrator. And this is a normal project. So let me click on next. And uh, here I am going to give some name like uh, demo 10. Okay. And click on create. Right. So this is a normal process. And if we need to create a trigger, then again we have to click on this add trigger. And we need to create the trigger. Right. So now what I am going to do is let me add this activity right new item to queue and what is the queue name so let me go back to automation here in queues i'm going to create a new queue trigger demo okay I'm not going to give any of these things. Add. Okay, so just click on this. 
I'm going to choose the QD. Okay, so here you can see what are the queues that you have created under this particular folder. Yeah, it will uh, list you here, right? So let me choose trigger demo, show advanced, and output is a the transaction item, right? That we are going to uh, uh, get from uh, the queue, right? Let me do one thing. Let me try to push this to office data. So this is a trigger. Okay, actually, this activity is a trigger. And let me push this to office trader. Add a queue item. Okay, or if I need to rename it, I can just give it like a add queue item one. Okay, next publish. Okay. Okay, then go to orchestrator, tenant, package. Okay, you can see the new package was published to orchestrator, right? Let me go to our folder, automation, and here I am going to create a new process. Okay, and here I am going to choose add queue item one. There's a new package, and here you can see there is a mandatory field that we need to choose in this stage package requirement. But earlier, when we uh, upload the normal process, this was not a requirement, right? This was not a mandatory field. So let's go to the next stage. What is it? Here it is showing like something is missing, right? So what is that? So the type is Q trigger. By default, it is showing like this is a Q trigger, and uh, the name is a uh, trigger demo. That is correct. And photo path is auto board. That also got tagged automatically, right? And that is it is showing like uh, it's missing. What is that? We cannot determine if this queue trigger exists in the folder. Its name is set as an expression and will be determined at that time. So we haven't created any trigger for this. And even though it's a trigger based uh, workflow, right? So what we have to do, we need to create a trigger from here, add trigger. Okay, so what should be the name? Okay, so here uh, you can provide the uh, trigger name. So let me name it like a add queue item trigger. And what is a queue? Trigger demo that is uh, automatically tagged. And uh, this runtime and all uh, you can choose as per your requirement. And the boat I am going to choose as auto boat. Okay. <laughs> Just a one. So this is my another machine. So if I going to execute this, it will run in that uh, machine. Okay. Anyway, we'll add it. Okay. So this package requirement is completed. But if you're going to create a normal project, uh, this is not a mandatory field because there is no trigger activity that we have included in that process. But when we include that uh, activity, like uh, when new item added to queue, then we will get this uh, stage as a mandatory field. Okay, and now we can see uh, it is a uh, pending still uh, it's showing like green color, right? I think it's a pending created. Okay, just go to next. Go to next. I'm going to give some name like uh, demo okay click on create okay so that's it we have created a uh, trigger as well as a process okay so let me go to trigger here we can see the trigger that we have created okay so earlier what we were doing we, we will be creating the process then we have to create the job then trigger like that right but now from the process itself it indicated like we need to create the trigger then uh, we have created the trigger add queue item trigger right so that's it let me show you how it is going to work as well so here i'm going to add add item right so add an item dot specific content of the dot two three okay so just consider uh, to this particular queue you are going to add some item 
and if whenever if you are adding a new item you will get that translation id right? Trans translation item over uh, add, add item and uh, you can use that item uh, in your process right so there are two things like dispatcher as well as processor so using dispatcher whenever if you are uploading something to uh, this particular queue trigger demo then in this processor you will get that item in the add add item uh, translation item and this item you can use it to process right so that's it we publish this again next publish okay so this is the latest package so let's keep it like that let me do one thing let me try to create a uh, a new sequence add sequence okay this answer. what i'm going to do is i'm just going to add uh, some item to the particular queue okay so for that add activity we'll build it data table build data table Mm -hmm. we'll do thing. We'll give team. this one here okay and uh, <coughs> this here that is in you know and uh, what's here 2022 Friends two zero one eight in Germany two zero one four. Okay, so let's keep it like this. And uh, what's output? My ATT. Okay, so that's it. And what I'm going to do is we need to loop through this data table and add that to the particular queue. Right. For there is for each row in data table. Okay. So for each row in data table, my DT add queue item. And what is the folder? It's autopath queue name is uh, triggered right trigger demo and item information there is no anything current row <coughs> current row of zero dot oh sorry here we need to provide the key right so key should be t or let me give it like name okay then current row of zero dot to string and add entry here i'm going to give it like here Current row of one dot two three. Okay, so that's it. And uh, let me add a message box. New item add. Okay, so it will work like a loop, right? So whenever the new item is getting added to uh, the queue, this message box will uh, pop up. Okay. Then we'll see whether that particular trigger that we have to do to orchestrate is getting triggered or not. So run file. Okay. So job. We should start a new job.
okay so it has started the execution okay so all of a sudden we can see a new trigger got created right trigger demo and currently it is in pending status just click on okay because this execution is going to happen in a uh, new machine okay so that's it currently it is in running state and in that particular uh, add item we have created right so it will create uh, three triggers so whenever a new item is getting added to uh, that particular thing it will create a new trigger or it will create a new job and it will execute that item okay so that is the purpose let me click on ok it will create one more uh, job so that it is a this chain okay so here we can see this is successful and this is successful okay so that's it so that's how it is going to uh, work <clears throat> so i hope you understood uh, uh, what's the use of this particular activity so it's generally to create the uh, trigger based on uh, a new item okay so it's totally based on a queue based on trigger so whenever if you are uh, create uh, uploading a new item to the <coughs> orchestrator uh, to that particular queue it will uh, automatically trigger the uh, job so that is the purpose of this okay and if there is any confusion uh, regarding this particular activity uh, please do mention in the uh, comment section and my uh, only confusion is like uh, as per the documentation it has mentioned like cross platform but uh, i observe the same uh, functionality or the same uh, feature like uh, even though if i create the windows as well so if someone is aware like why it has mentioned like cross platform please do uh, mention in the uh, comment box okay so that's it uh, hope you find this video useful if you find this video useful please like the video please share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe our channel so thanks for watching the video bye